job is literally the prep up to it. Mm -hmm. Actually pouring the concrete, that's the easiest part. You have to be careful because you don't want to make a mess on shit. And frankly, when I did the kitchen cabinet and the guest bathroom um, in the big room, mm -hmm. I uh, brought my wheelbarrow in the house because I needed that much cement. Right. And I hadn't finished the floors yet. Right. There were a lot of things I didn't have to worry about damaging. Not so in this room. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to need that much cement. And there's a lot of shit I can mess up by bringing the wheelbarrow in. Well, and also, you might mention that we are having heat advisories right now, yeah, and that's why right this is a good inside thing, which is why you're so hot and sweaty. No, I'm just always hot and sweaty because I'm hot. <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> anyway, so it's as easy as I'm just going to dump a bunch of the concrete up here. I'm trying not to get it all over the walls because whatever I get on the walls, i got to wash off while it's wet, mm -hmm. which sounds easy, but it's not as easy as you would think. So I'm going to try to make as little mess as possible because, believe it or not, I don't like cleanup big ass messes. Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and uh, then what we'll you come back when I get it what are you all gonna in here. Spread it with? Oh, when Alright, so I put the cement up there, and as you can see, my one bucket of cement is probably going to be enough. Mm -hmm. Now, I mixed the whole thing of cement, but I have lots of stuff I can do with the cement when I get done. But at any rate, so why am I putting rubber gloves on? Because the best way to make sure that that cement gets smooshed down into all the corners, and I don't have any air pockets, because I don't want to, you don't want to know what I did to vibrate it before. Because <laughs> I don't have a vibrating machine, which is what they normally use. So you're going to use your hands. So I'm going to use my hands and just shove it down in there to try to get all the air bubbles out and try to make it go into that wire mesh as much as possible. Right. Okay. So, like I said, this is not, you know, the, the leading up to it is the hardest part. The cement part is not that hard. It's just trying to get it all smooth and shoved down. You know, like it looks like I'm going to have to take some of that out in that part. But I won't know until I get it all shoved in. So it's, uh, you're just shoving it in as hard as you can with your hands to make sure there's no air pockets. And smoothing it out as much as you can. And then you'll see where you have to take stuff away or where you have to add it. You just see what I'm doing? And what I'm doing is I'm just having it come up to the lip over here. When I get done, I want it to be to the lip on the sink mm -hmm. and to the lip on the outside. So you will have to take some off eventually, but... Oh, yeah. And then you'll, you'll angle it and all that other stuff. Yeah, I'll have to do all kinds of stuff, but we'll do that after we get this all pushed in. Okay, I want to shove it in there really good and hard. You don't want to leave any air bubbles. And like I said, take, they normally use a vibrating machine to get those out. But, um, and I, what I did on the cabinets was I put my freaking air compressor on and just had it open on the bottom and just ran it. On the shelf, yeah, so that it so it shook. Yeah, yeah so it shook one the of the bottom shelves inside the cabinet. Yeah. yeah, so it shook the entire cabinetry. Okay, so I can see, for instance, that there's too much there. Oh, that was easy. Too much there. Too much there. That's about right when I get, well, maybe a little bit too much there. So, take a little bit out. And too much there for sure. So I actually literally put too much up there. And I only had a bucket to start with. And if you look, the bucket is not that much. Uh-uh. Okay, so now I'm going to smooth it out again and see if I'm closer. When I get close enough, then I'll take my trowel and smooth it out. And then you clean it all up. And clean it all up. Now, see, that's still too much cement there. Okay. Okay. So you want to come back when you're finished? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Sounds when I get good. it. When I'm smoothing it with a trowel, okay. again. Good. Okay.
Okay, so now I'm just going to take the trowel and basically smooth this out so that it doesn't have my little fingerprints all in it. <gasps> you don't want to leave evidence? No, you don't want to have a surface so rough that you can't clean it. Ah. So you're going to smooth it out as smooth as you can, and the best way to do that is with a trowel. And you can see I'm getting a much finer, smoother surface, and when I come across somewhere I think it's too much, I can scrape it off with the trowel like that. Yeah, you don't want any of those little crevices and stuff where stuff. So you're going to get some. But the fewer you have, the easier it's going to be to clean. Yeah, because when you when you put the finish on it and the how it many, seals all the small cracks. So you're mostly trying to make sure you get all the big ones gone. Yeah. I just want to just keep doing it until you get it nice and smooth. Okay. So are we good for now? Yeah. Oh, now, okay. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it pretty smooth, you know. Um, and so now I'm gonna, I want to decorate it because you know everything here has to be what I like to call rustic elegance. <laughs> what do you mean I'm full of shit? <laughs> How dare you? Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hoo haws and I'm going to over there in that corner where it's not going to really matter. Oh, I did that on purpose. Yes. To show you, you can drop stuff on it and then smooth it out again. So, Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth, put them in. I want them to be level. Because again, cleaning. Well, and setting things on it. and Yeah. Well, no, I don't want them to be able to set too much shit up here because don't get too fucking comfortable in the goddamn bathroom that everybody has to use. This is true. You know, there's that. You know, it's like, just kind of, you know, you're not just doing them random, just random colors and random shapes. It depends, like, on the, in the kitchen, I use the colors from the kitchen, and in the back bathroom, I use the colors from the bathroom, and in here, you're just using But in here, I'm using random because it's the guest bathroom, and it's, it's the main bathroom for the house, really, and, uh, there is more than one color in here, so there you go. So you're going to put these around the sink? Nope. Just in the corner. Just uh -huh. put a little pop of color. Oh uh, yeah, I've probably, no, it's not all in yet, but that's close. Just going to a couple more. Kind of just in there. No kind of pattern at all, just kind of pattern. Just something to catch the eye a little bit. You know, take it off the flack that we didn't mop the floor from the last time. <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah, like that it'll ever happen. Mm -hmm. I don't have to tell everybody that I'm an anal retentive clean freak. <laughs> but thanks, honey. There you go. All right, so how does that look? That looks great. Okay, so that's it. And then next now step is step cleanup. Now step is cleanup, okay. which is the worst part. We'll be back.